Best rigging practice requires more than knowing and adhering to the basic requirements. It also requires that each lift is properly planned. The detail and complexity of the plan should match the detail and complexity of the rigging job. Best rigging practice also requires that everybody involved in the rigging recognizes their responsibilities. It is worth noting that ASME has developed a standard for lift planning called P30.1, relevant to the planning of load handling activities where mechanical equipment including cranes, derricks, hoists, cableways, aerial devices, and material lifting accessories are used. OSHA and all accepted rigging practices require that a person on every job be assigned the responsibility to know the capacity of the rigging. Understand how to inspect the equipment. This means the machine and the rigging. Be qualified to properly connect the load for effective load control. If there's an accident, it doesn't matter if the machine or the rigging fail. If somebody gets hurt or killed, OSHA won't issue a citation to the machine or the rigging. Being responsible for hurting a fellow worker is something you'll never forget. A basic rigging plan will always include the key questions that must be answered before the load comes off the ground. Let's look at each of these key questions. OSHA requires a competent person be responsible for the inspection of the rigging gear, and OSHA 1926.1400 also now requires a qualified rigger in several applications. Establish clear communications by a pre-lift meeting and by use of hand signals or radio. Evaluate the rigging gear. Make sure that the gear is suitable for overhead lifting. The manufacturer must clearly state that it is suitable for overhead lifting and must meet the demanding requirements of overhead lifting. Check that the manufacturer has their name or logo on the product and that the size or working load limit is clearly marked. The gear we use must have adequate working load limits. We must know the capacity of all our gear. The weight of the load must be known, calculated, estimated, or measured. It is important to remember that the loading on the slings will depend on where the center of gravity is located. The loads that are on the slings and the connections at the load are affected by the horizontal sling angle. At 30 degrees, the forces are doubled. The WLL of most equipment is based on inline loading. If the sling pulls off at an angle, we need to find three more pieces of information. Does the manufacturer allow it? Is the WLL affected? And are there any special instructions? Angularly loading an eye bolt, for example, can result in a loss of 75% of the working load limit, and only a shouldered eye bolt, properly tightened and aligned, can be subjected to angular loading. The strength and or integrity of slings can be dramatically affected if not protected from edges, corners, protrusions, and abrasive surfaces. Protect slings from these conditions with material of sufficient strength, thickness, and construction to prevent damage. See ASME B30.9 for complete information. Proper load control means that the load lifts level and is stable. Placing the load hook over the center of gravity is an essential first step. Placing the slings around the center of gravity is the second step. Selecting a hitch that will attach to the load securely at the sling angle being used is next. Good load control continues with the use of a tag line where needed. Make sure that the load and rigging do not foul or snag as it is moved. Do not expose personnel to suspended loads and do not stand next to a sling or rigging hardware under tension. As we step back from the rigging, it is important to also consider environmental and other special requirements that may affect the rigging. The competent rigger and all those involved with the rigging must meet their three basic responsibilities. To utilize appropriate rigging gear suitable for overhead lifting, to utilize the rigging gear within industry standards and the manufacturer's recommendations, and to conduct regular inspections and maintenance of the rigging gear. As a manufacturer of rigging gear, Crosby has a responsibility to support your risk management effort. This support must include having the information about the product available, how it is made, materials used, application instructions, and other technical information.